Hi everybody, it's Febreth and I'm at Mercato's Dream World today. I'll show you where we are on the map. We're in Solstheim. There's High Point Tower and the Ramshackle Trading Post. So you can fast travel here straight away. Or did I? Did I discover it first? <laughs> I, d I downloaded it a couple of days ago and now I've forgotten. I may have had to discover it first. So it's this innocuous looking door in the mountain. And it's just a small home. For some reason Inigo doesn't doesn't want to come in. He doesn't approve. But it has just about everything you need. Lots and lots of storage, loads of things to take. Staff Enchanter. That's not a basement. <laughs> I did wonder. Quite rustic living quarters. Hay on the floor and a planks and pelt bed. But it's highly decorated. Look at this. And what the hell? <laughs> what happened that in my bedroom? No chance. <laughs> and an imbuing chamber. One solitary mannequin and a cooking pot. And then round here there's a skill book. And you're enchanting. And an interesting book for you to read. It tells you what you need to create a dream potion, which you can do here. And then you have this funky looking altar and the diary of the property owner which makes quite an interesting read suffice it to say Vermina done him wrong so once you've created the potion 300 gold per potion mind you just to get to another bit of your own home <laughs> Uh, it goes into your potions as dream potion. Drink it. And then you can open up the dream world. And word of warning, when you do, and you're just happily meandering around just looking at everything, watch out because a boss will spawn. Mercato himself, Amina took his soul. So I'm super overgrown in here and so I'm guessing that my uh, flora overhaul <laughs> is to blame for this. It's a nice little out outdoor space, isn't it? And there's also an anvil, more storage. Lots more things to pick. And it's really very pretty. So as soon as you start to head towards this bridge, Mercato turns up and he's actually quite tough. I mean, I'm using a pretty strong bow and arrows, uh, but when I was just using my Orioles bow and ebony arrows, it took like 15 to bring him down. <laughs> he was nails. So I quickly switched out when I saw what was going on. And this um, just gives you a blessing that um, increases your uh, illusion uh, spells, makes them stronger, I think. He had a few things on him. One of them was a little note. Um, 
Emma. <laughs> Good grief. Do you know, it doesn't matter which feb I'm on, which game I'm in, there it is, sight of a diary. So yeah, he got trapped in his dream. Vermina took his soul. If you read this, you freed my soul. I think so. <laughs> so that is cool. Little bit of a story with it. And some random mannequins out here. <laughs> and things went flying a bit, unfortunately, after the fight. <laughs> or during the fight, I should say. But isn't it a pretty little home? I love the candles on the bridge and all the mushrooms. And then to leave, you just literally go back through the portal. All right, well, I will leave you with that view. I'll call that the end of this wee video and I will see you soon for another.